Sweat it to the truth, nothing but the truth. Put my hands on the Bible, y'all put me to the booth. Sweat it to the truth. So is Lecrae making subtle comments about Caleb Gordon in this song? Check this out. I'ma pull my rank, I'ma bet he ain't. Need a movement for a decade for you see my planks. Make your little bros a millie for you get to acting silly. Turn a deal into a dilly for you speak my name. I've been stepped on, I've been priced out. Preach God at the White House. Show rap what Christ bout, and they still wanna turn my lights out, boy. Now you know I used to teach what you learn. But go on do it big with your sermon. I'm rooting for you. Now it's not my intentions to to do he say, she say. But we do know in Latest news, when Caleb Gordon just asked a question about Lecrae's song in regards to blessings, and can it be even considered as a Christian song? When we looked at Lecrae's comment, we kind of, you kind of seen the aggravation of Lecrae. Kind of when he was just, it kind and it kind of just seemed like he just went back in years to just kind of say, man, you know, and all the other things that I did, but this one, but he was like, never mind, I'm gonna let God get the glory. But then he goes to say this, I'm going to pull my rank, I'm going to vet he ain't. Something about pulling his planks and turn your turn your partners turn your partners to a milli. The way that I see it is this. And I, 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 won't, I'm, I won't say it all. I won't say it all because I don't know all the lyrics off the top of my head. But the way I see it is this. If he is as petty, straight up, if he is as petty, Caleb Gordon is a, is a young dude coming up in the game and he just want he just want clarity for the truth and if we if we as older christians as people who have more experience in the faith clarif can't clarify some things up and get more and and, and get and get more bothered just simply and get more bothered just from a simple question being asked like that just kind of show you where your heart at bro again this is just if he is. So it could be so we can say this is hypothetical. It's not one of them, it's not one of them things to where I I meet me personally, I me personally, I do believe that. So I will say that. I do believe that he is making more comments in regard to in regard to the post, the Instagram post of Caleb Gordon. And so, you know, and, and so I will say that, and so, but I don't know for sure. But I will say that again, if he is, it's just it's petty. It's petty because again, because you know, you just asking questions and you can tell Caleb Gordon is genuine behind what he asks. It's not that he's reaching for clout, it's not that he's trying to not that he's trying to put you out. But, you know, when most people when most people think of when most people think of Christian, you know, uh Christian rap artists, they think of they they think of one of the best, one of the best to ever do it. And in my eyes and opinion, it definitely it definitely was the cray. You know, like that was he was my go to when I when I first started my walk. Like he was somebody that he was somebody that that really discipled me through his music and helped me look at and helped me look at life so much differently. You know what I'm saying? And helped me not um and help me not look at everything through a religious lens, but learn how to generalize but learn how to generalize life in the sense of in 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 a, in a sense of the Bible. Just thinking that not just thinking that I always had to wear big suits, you know, big suits all the time, because that's not what the church is about. Um, but it's just about it's about it's about being real. It's about being real in a world where in a world where you are different, where people don't look at you, you know, where people don't look at you the same. So in my regards and into the accomplishments and achievements that he's done, like, you know. He's definitely made great strides for CHH. And so, you know, but that still, but that still doesn't, that still doesn't take away from just really pouring into like young and upcoming rappers, like people who really, people who really pursuing holiness. And the question still stands, can blessings be considered a Christian song? Um, because it has Ty Dolla Sign on it. Not taking away, you know, not taking away from the man at all, but in, and knowing and knowing and knowing what we know as far as saved people is concerned, we know that the scripture says that the blessing of the Lord is what makes rich. Not the blessings with the plural, but the blessing of the Lord. Meaning the covenant that we have through Jesus Christ. 
being reconciled back to the father. This is the blessing of the Lord. And that make that makes rich. It's not the material possessions. And so what they could be talking about is two totally different things. And that's misleading. But we have to address that. And I believe this, that was just the question that Caleb Gordon was just having. Just like when we truly, when we truthfully looking at the gospel message, are we as people of God stewarding it or handling it appropriately? Or are we doing it? Or are we doing it for other means? But this is a very good topic. And again, I'm not looking to I'm not looking to be on no, to be on no, uh, he say, she say stuff. It's just, it's just call, it's just calling things out for what it is and actually, and just actually making things and just actually making things straight, making things right. You know what I'm saying? And just really, and just really calling out, calling out the real from what's fake, you know? But again, let me know what y'all think, man. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Peace. I'm out. Tell the truth, nothing but the truth. Put my hands on the Bible, y'all put me to the booth.